Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API Recommended Practice 578 Guidelines for a Material Verification Program for New and Existing Assets In this lecture, we will discuss the scope of API Recommended Practice 578 This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 1, as well as reviews of some of the important sub-clauses that are in the clause. The following is a list of all the sub-clauses, as listed in the table of contents. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in Clause 1, accompanied by the sub-clauses. The purpose of this recommended practice is to provide guidelines for an owner, user, to develop and implement a material verification program as part of an asset integrity program. The material verification program uses positive material identification and other methods to verify that the nominal composition of an asset an asset component or weldment within the pressure envelope is consistent with the selected or specified construction materials. This recommended practice provides the guidelines for material verification programs involving ferrous and non-ferrous alloys during the construction, installation, maintenance, and inspection of new and existing process equipment. This recommended practice is applicable to all refining and petrochemical industries and may be applied in other industries and or businesses at the discretion of the owner, user. Review questions. Question number one. The material verification program specified by API 578 covers. Answer is A. Question number two. API 578 provides guidelines for a material assurance system to verify. Answer is B. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for next lecture.